What's up, Internet? I'm Manish from RebellionRadar.com, and today in this short and quick video, I will show you how you can solve TNS I/O error, which states that network adapter could not establish the connection. I have received several comments, messages, and emails regarding this error, so I thought, why not to make a short video which can help you all in getting rid of this error? So without wasting much of your time, let's dive in. Step one. Double check the small things. Yes, double check the small things such as username, password, host name, and port number. Make sure you have supplied the valid values in all these fields. For valid host name and port number, you can take help from listener.ora files. This is helpful when you have access to your server or you have installed the database on your local machine, as I did here. But if you don't have access to listener.ora files, then just don't worry. You can use tnsnames.ora file. First, let's open the listener.ora file and see where you can get the hostname and port number. First, go to your DB Home. And here, find the directory network. And inside the network directory, go to the admin folder. Here in this folder, you can find all your configuration files such as listener.ora and tnsnames.ora. Now, open your listener.ora file. Here, you can see that I have only one listener configured by the name of listener. And here, in the description of this listener, you will find what you are looking for, which is your valid hostname and port number. So now, you have your valid hostname and port number, so close this file and come back to our admin directory and see the second way of finding hostname and port number. And here we are. Now, another way to find out the valid port number and hostname is by using tnsnames.ora file. You can find this in the same directory admin. Let's open this tnsnames.ora file. And here we are. This particular file includes a list of service names of network database map to connect descriptor. In my case, the service associated with my database ORCL is the ORCL. Generally, database creates service with the same name as of the database SID. Here in the description, you can find the valid host name and port number. So these are the two ways to find out the valid host name and port number. Now you know the correct host name and port number that you can enter in your new connection window on SQL Developer as I did here. Let's test the connection again. In most of the cases, entering correct credentials solves the error. But if it is still there, then you have to check whether your listener is sleeping or up and running. For that, run your command prompt with administrative privileges. Here we are. Now write, this command will show you the status of your listener. If the output of this command is similar to mine, then your listener has stopped and not running. Now you have to start the listener, for that simply write. This will start your listener and most probably solve your problem. Ok, so now let's come back to our SQL developer and check the error. And here we are, let's test it. And as you can see, the error is gone. Do read my blog to learn what to do if you face the problem in starting the listener. Link is in the description box. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please hit the thumbs up button and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on my Twitter and Instagram and on other socials. All the links are in the description box. We'll see you soon. Till then, take care. This is Manish from Rebellion Rider.